Michael made landfall there nearly at nearly a Category 5 strength. It left an untold amount of damage and destructive destruction and caused flooding and power outages. People affected by the storm will soon return to their homes. For some, what's left of them? And then the focus shifts to recovery and rebuilding. But what's that process look like anyway? Well, earlier today, I discussed it with R.J. Lehman, the Director of Finance, Insurance, and Trade Policy at R Street Institute. You're in St. Petersburg right now, which is near Tampa, Florida, which is on the Gulf Coast of Florida. For starters, how are you and the people doing around you after Hurricane Michael hit, and what does the damage look like? Where, where we are, there was, there was very little. At the, at, the, at the beaches, there was some storm surge, but uh, in terms of uh, wind damage or anything like that, we, we were far enough away from the center of the storm that we didn't really get much this year. Now, much of the damage zeroed in on Florida's panhandle. From your perspective, I've seen a lot of the images, visuals on social media. It looks pretty horrific. I mean, there are buildings completely destroyed. What's your initial take on, on the damage and destruction that's been done? Yeah, the only, uh, the only good thing about where it hit is that it was a relatively uh, not densely populated part of the state. If that same sort of storm had hit in, in the Tampa Bay area or in South Florida near Miami, uh, in terms of the number of people who would be hurt, the amount of, of destruction would be, you know, incalculable. Um, it is, uh, in effect, uh, it, it, although it's called a, a Category 4, it was only two, uh, uh, it, it was only like two, two miles per hour less than a Cat 5, and its actual barometric pressure was lower than either Andrew or Katrina. So this is clearly one of the strongest storms that has ever hit the United States. Uh, essentially just a giant tornado and, and flattening everything in its path. Yeah, it spread so quickly and rapidly. It uh, yep. gained strength um, earlier this week, kind of caught a lot of us off guard. Um, yep. Let's talk about recovery and rebuilding. People affected are gonna be starting to come to home to uh, return to their homes um, mm -hmm. in the near future. Let's just start by what are the first steps that they need to take with insurers, the government? Who do they need to reach out to now? Sure, they should call their agent. First of all, if you if you have a an agent, you should call your agent. Uh, if you don't have an agent, then call your insurance company. Um, this was more of a wind event than a flood event. There was certainly some storm surge, but you didn't, because the, the storm was moving so fast, uh, you didn't get the significant rainfall totals uh, that you had, say, with Florence last month or that we experienced last year in Florida with Irma. Um, so it's not going to be as significant for flood. Flood is a is a peril that is mostly written by the federal government through the National Flood Insurance Program. There are private flood insurance policies, especially in Florida, uh, where we, we have a, a state system that actually encourages private flood insurance. Um, but it is going to be primarily a wind event, and certainly uh, you're going to you're going to need to get your company on the phone. Uh, if you're not where, if you're not at your home, many people have evacuated. Still, call your agent. They may be able to uh, access your property without you with an adjuster, or if an adjuster can't get to your property, they actually nowadays are sending drones in many cases overhead to to take a look at you know what the damage might be. Some of these homes destroyed. How do people get the most out of their insurance? Uh, well, if you have a, uh, a, a big part of, of what can come into question uh, later or what your contents were. So making sure that in any storm, you have an inventory of, of what your contents are, that if you have major uh, expensive items that you've reported them to your insurer, uh, engagement rings, uh, expensive furniture, expensive uh,